What's up everyone, Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Today I guess you can consider this the art of drumming, or art of drums, I don't know what I'll call it eventually, but I get a lot of students, uh, guitar players, bass players, keyboard players, piano players, whatever, and they all seem to always be curious about the drum set that's sitting in the corner of my teaching room, and once in a while I find out that they really want to play the drums, but something always happens whenever they first sit on the kit. They just sort of hit random drums, they're not really sure what to do, and as soon as I show them this one real basic drum exercise or drum beat, things start to kind of click for them right off the bat. And I've seen people get really good at drums uh, just from starting from this very simple concept. And I know anyone can do it, uh, even if you think you're rhythmically challenged, because uh, it only requires a couple of limbs happening at one time. A lot of people think you have to have four-way dexterity right off the bat, but that's not true. So first of all, we're just going to break it down to three things on the kit. We're going to have this symbol here, which is called the hi-hat. That's the cool one that goes up and down. It's like two symbols coming together like that. So you can control it with your foot, but I like to hit it with a stick for this exercise, okay? And then our next component is going to be the snare drum here. We're just going to... Um, what it sounds like. So we're going to be hitting that. And then we have a kick drum, also known as the bass drum. And now uh, you just put your foot on the pedal and you just kick it, essentially. <laughs> so let's make this very basic. Those are going to be the three elements that we end up hitting. And we're just going to do a few of them at a time and uh, try to make a groove out of it, okay? Okay, so I'm a right-handed player. So every time I say right hand, right foot, uh, that's real common for right hand players to play like this direction with the hi-hat to the left side. But uh, if you're left-handed, you might elect to flip everything around, like a mirror image of what I have here. But uh, most players that I teach uh, play right-handed. And even some left-handers decide to play this direction anyway, just because they, if they ever share a, a drum set with somebody, they don't want to have to flip everything around in order to play it. So I'm just going to uh, go with this right-handed technique for today. And uh, just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, so the right hand is going to hit the hi-hat. At the same time you hit the hi-hat, what I want you to do is hit the kick drum. So this is all you have to do. You have to get your right hand and your right foot to hit in sync. That's it. Just like that. So to get it going, what we're going to do is we're going to just keep doing that over and over and over again, okay? And if you want to, you can count to four. All right, you can go like this. Now there hasn't been one student that hasn't at least been able to do that, okay? So that's the beginning. Don't get too obsessed about how you hold the stick yet. We're just trying to get, get to hitting things, okay? Let's do that again. People get obsessed about how to kick the kick drum as well, the pedal technique. Not today. That'll be down the road, okay? All right, today we're just trying to get body coordination. All right, so once you can do that, I don't care if you want to speed it up. It's totally fine. So if you count it out loud now, what I want to do is I start to want to get the left hand in on the action a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the hi-hat and the kick drum on the first beat. One, just like that. Then on the second beat, what I want you to do is I want you to hit the hi-hat, the kick drum, and the snare drum all at the same time. So just practice hitting all three at the same time one time. Just like that. Now, yeah, there might be a little bit of a, of a delay when you hit a certain drum. For example, some people go like this. You hear a little bit of what's called a flam sound. What I want you to try to do is try to hit all three exactly at the same time. That could take a little bit of practice that you want, okay? All right, so that's all we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate from this hitting of the hi-hat and the kick drum to all three. Just the hi-hat and kick drum, all three. Now I'm bringing my left hand way over here just kind of to exaggerate to show you that it's not needed for the first and the third beats, but don't do that for real, okay? Keep it close. So now I'm gonna do that again. Every time I say one, I'm just hitting the hi-hat and the kick drum. When I say two, I'm gonna hit all of them at the same time. It's okay if you wanted to say one, two, one, two, one, two for a while, just because you'll think of it as two separate things and then you put them together later. Okay, so one, two is all of them. One, two.
Okay, that seems pretty simple, I hope, at least the concept of it, getting your body to do what might take a couple minutes, but eventually you'll get that. Then you can say one, two, three, four if you want. So one's gonna be just a hi-hat and a kick. Two is gonna be all of them. Three is gonna go back to just hi-hat and kick. Four is gonna be all of them. The reason I want you to count to four eventually is because music is counted in fours and you want to at least get a one, two, three, four groove going so later on we can make it more complex. Okay, so now I'm going to count up to four. All right, that's the most basic beat you could do. Now you could speed it up, you could slow it down. If you're having a lot of trouble, you could be like, But I know after a while, people just want to get going and they just speed up on their own after a while. So they'll go like. That's a cool beat actually, I like that. Okay, so that beat will get you started on the feeling of crossing your right hand over to hit the hi-hat. To hit the snare underneath it, by the way, that's important. So you get this action going on and then the foot locking in. So it's kind of cool because you have this going the whole time. So that's really keeping you going. That's like the metronome in the background. And then the snare just comes in every other time. So one more time, let's go at medium speed. One, two, ready, go. Okay, that's it for the basic beat. Do that until you could play it steady and with a lot of confidence, and then uh, try it playing along with maybe some White Stripe songs or something with kind of basic beats in them. And then uh, you'd be surprised how many songs you can actually play with that groove. It might sound a little bit empty because a lot of uh, drummers like to add that more hi-hats, so they like to go like that. That's later on. Let's get the main feeling down first, and then you'll uh, have a head start on all the other beats, okay? And just as a little bonus, if you do have other symbols, like a ride symbol, like I have over here, you can replace the hi-hat with a ride and do the same thing, okay? This is very white stripesy. You could just start off with. Then add the snare. I don't know, go crazy, go back and forth. Okay, hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, it's just the beginning, remember. So the first beat I want everybody to learn, and then uh, we can go back and do some more details. We can get really crazy and add much, many more things in the future. But for right now, start there and uh, see if it just improves your overall rhythm. Your body's gonna be moving in a different way. And that has helped me, because I started with drums when I was younger. When I went to the guitar, it just felt right. I was able to tap my foot, kind of like you're hitting the kick drum, and strum and everything locked in right away because I was able to play a simple beat. Okay, good luck.